I'd like to talk about how you can record a good audition because a lot of people haven't really been taught how a clarinet records well and this is going to be useful for you to learn. Because you're submitting a recording, you want to try and get your clarinet to have the best tone possible. And nowadays, a lot of phones have great microphones built in for the purposes of what you're doing or your computer. If you do have an external mic, that's a great thing to use. Generally with clarinet, you want to have the mic at least about four feet away from you. If it's too close, we're going to hear a lot of key clacks. But one of the things about the clarinet too is it fills a room up with sound and part of the beauty of the tone is how it interacts with the room. If your mic's too close, you're going to miss that. So I would say whatever recording device you're using, do some experimental takes. Try recording a few bars close to you, put it a little further, put it a little further, try it higher, try it lower, and really pick a spot that shows off your tone to the way you'd like it to sound. This can make a big difference in your recording quality, so don't overlook this step. The other thing I'll say about the recording is I've seen lots of students work very hard on the music and then they try and do the whole recording the day before it's due. And this causes a bit of panic because no matter how well prepared we are, if we try and record the same thing a few times, we end up eventually going on overload and we start making stupid mistakes. So my recommendation to you is that you start recording full takes about two weeks before the time the recording is due. Now odds are two weeks ahead of time, you're still going to be improving it and you'll have a better take, but it gets you used to recording yourself and listening. And resist temptation to stop if you make a little mistake. I've been on listening committees for honor band tapes before and usually most people who get in have a little mistake somewhere on the recording. If you were to stop every time you made a mistake, you might never finish and then you might get so tired and frustrated you end up making bad recordings. So my recommendation is always don't stop unless you have a total train wreck and you know for sure you're not using that, but accept the little mistakes, listen to your recording, Go back to that spot where you had the mistake. Odds are that place where you're making the mistake may be a habitual mistake and we tend to make the same mistakes over and over again. So you want to take that spot, isolate it, play it several times till you fix it up and then you record another take. You may not get a perfect take, so don't worry about that. What you want is one that shows off good quality tone, well prepared musicality and expression so that the listening committee really gets an idea of what you do well.